Hi, my name's Elise. And I'm Ronnie. We are here to break down your return to campus this fall with COVID safety measures put in place. So we know the DU has sent out a lot of emails and has hosted a couple town halls to describe this procedure. Um, so we're just here to summarize, shorten, and make it simple so that you know what's up. Firstly, congratulations on your admission to DU. You've got an exciting four years ahead of you and we are here for you. Please reach out to us if you have any questions. We have our contact information linked in the description box below. We also just want to reiterate the status for international students. If classes are moved to online, you will not be required to return to leave the U.S. So the more specific steps are outlined um, in the email from the Vice Provost for Internationalization. So check out that email um, just to familiarize yourself with those steps. The most recent town hall outlined five steps that you need to take before, during, and after your arrival on campus. The first step is to identify your move-in date. Um, and this is so that DU can stagger your move-in time so you're not running into people in the hallways and spreading the virus in that way. The second is the responsibility course. This is due for undergraduate students on August 24th. It is meant to help with understanding your trail back to campus, and while this video you're watching right now is a good starting point, this course will be your primary resource to keep you and others around you safe and informed. Three! Step number three is um, pre-arrival quarantine, which if by now you're not familiar, I'd be a little worried, but 14 days prior to when you get to DU, you're required to quarantine, self-quarantine at home. Um, but if this is not possible, there is an exception. Um, if you're working or have other responsibilities, um, DU just recommends you to be socially distant during those activities. Four, symptom monitoring. During the 14 days before arrival, you'll be required to answer questions about potential symptoms and exposure to the virus, as well as things relating to quarantine. The application that this will be done through is yet to be announced, but keep your eyes open. And finally, pre-arrival testing. Um, so before you make it to campus, all students will take a nasal swab test. Um, and if you test positive, DU has laid out clear guidelines to help you get healthy and while also predicting other students at DU. Um, there's plenty of emails about this. This is described in detail in an email to you from the provost and in the town halls as well. It's also linked below. Also, when you arrive to DU, you will also be tested just to be safe. Protocol during the year will be a little different. You can find more in-depth information in the description box below. Please reach out to us if you have any questions or concerns. We know that these times are really hard, so we are here for you along the way. Stay safe and healthy. Knock on wood, we'll see you soon.